common comments I see is you guys asking me for money. So I finally figured out a way to get all of you guys money. I sound like a scam, but this isn't a scam. Listen. My son is 11 years old and he's insanely good with money for his age. As someone who grew up broke and never learned how to be responsible with money, I've tried to help teach him what I wish I knew. As you know, kids are ripe for the picking when it comes to getting scammed out of money. So I try to teach my son critical thinking skills so he can be better with his money. Not all children or even adults are able to sit back and take a look at situations with a skeptical eye. And that's why it's important that we discuss this new David Dobrik $100,000 puzzle giveaway. A lot of people are going to get scammed out of money due to the gamification and gambling aspect of this giveaway. So I wanted to break it down so people can make better decisions. For the five of you who don't know who David Dobrik is, he started out on Vine and then he became became a massive YouTuber. David has over 18.6 million subscribers on YouTube and he's known for giving away insane amounts of money and buying people cars. Recently, he's taken a bit of a hiatus from YouTube and has focused on TikTok where he's amassed over 24 million followers. Personally, I think David Dobrik is a good person, but sometimes the fame and money can make you do some unethical things. Today, he announced that he's doing a $100,000 giveaway, and something that I've always taught my son is that if it seems too good to be true, then it probably is. On the surface, this just looks like another instance of David Dobrik trying to give away a bunch of money. But upon further inspection, he's doing it in a way that people have been canceled over. Common comments I see is you guys asking me for money. So I finally figured out a way to get all of you guys money. I sound like a scam, but this isn't a scam. Listen, I made this puzzle. It's called the hundred thousand dollar puzzle by David Dobrik. That's me. So this is how it works. You get the puzzle, you start building it. It takes a while. How long? Like it, takes, really long it takes a long time. You don't even have a cheat sheet to do it. When you're done, you take your camera on your phone, just like that. And then you scan it because it's a QR code and look, now it'll load your prize and you're going to 100% win. Anywhere from 25 cents to $100,000. And I won 25 cents. You guys can swipe up right now and get this puzzle for yourself or for a friend for Christmas. And do me a favor, when you scan the QR code, record your reaction because one person is gonna win $100,000. So. When I first saw this, I gave David the benefit of the doubt, but I was skeptical as well. When we see an opportunity like this, we need to calm down our system one thinking and engage our system two thinking. Nobel Prize winner Daniel Kahneman says our system one thinking is our fast intuitive thinking, while system two is more reflective. Far too often, we make decisions based on system one thinking rather than really taking a step back to analyze the situation. The first question I asked myself was, is this puzzle free? Because David is a businessman and he's made millions of dollars due to his business savvy. So will he just be giving away $100,000? Of course not. When you go to the website, the first button you see is buy now, which takes you to a page where you can buy the puzzle for $30 plus $6 shipping. Not only that, but you can buy more than one puzzle. How many puzzles you can buy? I decided to see how many, and there doesn't seem to be any limit as you could see. I don't know what the cost of each puzzle is to make, but I'm guessing there's a decent margin since the average the average puzzle at Walmart is between $8 and $10. So even if each puzzle costs David $10 to make, that's a 200% markup. And there's a good chance that these puzzles are going to cost far less than that to produce. Looking at David Dobrik's follower count, he only needs a small fraction of people to buy one puzzle from him to make a massive profit off of this quote unquote giveaway. If even 1% of his TikTok following buys just one puzzle, that's 240 thousand puzzles sold. Multiply that by $30 and that's $7.2 million. Well, what if, what if less than 1% of his followers buy the puzzle? Even at 0.05%, that's $3.6 million for a $100,000 giveaway. And we're not even taking into consideration that people can buy more than one puzzle, which brings us to our final point, which is that this 
is gambling. I live in Las Vegas, the home of gambling. So trust me when I say that I know gambling when I see it. Here, we don't have a state lottery like many other states, but what David Dobrik is doing is no different than buying a $30 lottery ticket. The only difference is that David Dobrik has gamified the process to make it seem fun while people are going to waste their money on taking this gamble. Rather than buying a lottery ticket for a few bucks with the chance to win millions of dollars, David Dobrik is making people think it's a steal to buy a $30 puzzle that you have to put together in order to maybe win $100,000. The craziest part about this is that this isn't new. Just two years ago, in December of 2018, Rice Gum and Jake Paul were promoting gambling to children in the form of mystery boxes. If you don't remember, these shady websites were sponsoring YouTube videos to have them trick kids into buying mystery boxes that may or may not have awesome prizes in them. The entire internet came after Jake Paul and Rice Gum for promoting gambling to children. And now we see David Dobrik doing the exact same thing under the guise of a quote-unquote giveaway. This year, we've seen many YouTubers like Jenna Marbles take a break from the platform after getting hatred for things she's done in the past. Notably, Donna from Psych IRL has seen this coming and has predicted that she thinks David Dobrik might be next because he's made some insensitive jokes in the past as well. While we're still not sure if that will happen, this definitely isn't a good look for David Dobrik. What's sad is that he's built a platform around having fun and helping others, and it's made the community trust him. When David Dobrik says he's doing a giveaway, people don't think twice and wonder how they can get in on it. Due to the quote unquote nice guy clout that he's built, he can pull a stunt like this, and who knows how much money people are going to waste on this lottery disguised as a giveaway. David Dobrik stands to make millions of dollars from this puzzle, and I think what frustrates frustrates me the most is that we're in the middle of a pandemic still. Millions of Americans are unemployed and can barely put food on the table. We're also coming up on the holidays and many families can't afford to buy gifts for each other. Meanwhile, David Dobrik has shown up to give people false hope, and now they're going to waste what little money they have on a lottery. All right, everybody, like I said, I have an 11 year old son, but guess what? I'm not your dad, okay? If you wanna buy this puzzle, if you wanna pay $30 for this puzzle, do yo thing, boo. But you are gambling, right? Like, you might as well just go to, just wait for McDonald's to do the Monopoly thing again and just get like a bunch of fries and try peeling the little things and do that. That's a cheaper, better way to do a little gamification, all right? But yeah, this is gambling. And I, I don't like I don't like doing that thing that everybody does like, oh, he's promoting this to children. Like on the website, it says you have to be uh, 18 or uh, 18 years or older to cash in on the prize. But obviously like kids can do it and then their parents can claim the prize and da 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 da, right? But yeah, like, like this is something, like I said, I'm 35 years old and I was an idiot with my money for many, many years. So like we always do with this channel, we're here to try some critical thinking and practice skepticism. And like, like I said, like I try to teach this to my son, like really take a look back. How much am I spending on this? Is it worth it? Does it make sense? You know, and just kind of break it down and really use that system two thinking. You know what I mean? But I think this is really shady and pretty scummy. So I don't know, like I said, I'm not your dad, but you know, as a friend, as a friend, <laughs> don't buy this puzzle, all right? Get your loved ones a Christmas gift instead and save yourself $30, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. It could be your Christmas gift to me. And I wanna send out a huge thank you to everybody who supports the channel in any way, whether it's over on Patreon or getting books from TheRewiredSoul.com or the books that I recommend, those are affiliate links down in the description below. Below. I always recommend pretty sweet books that you could check out. But anyways, that's all I got for this video. I'll see you next time.